when i walked into the lenovo store to buy this laptop until the moment the laptop was opened and shown to me i couldn't imagine how good it was truly the thinkpad x1 carbon series feels special when you see and feel it in person it is popularly known as the maserati or the rolls royce of business laptops for a good reason sleek understated and classy this is a laptop with a unique style statement and catches your attention with its simplicity and sophistication now, i have been using the lenovo thinkpad x1 carbon 6th generation for about 3 years now and here are my thoughts on this amazing ultrabook thinkpads have always carried a unique design since their days of being a part of ibm but the x1 carbon remains the company's crown jewel in this laptop the thinkpad logos are blacked out It is by far one of the meanest looking thin and light laptops out there. It has a subtle, almost nondescript exterior and yet it is recognizable from across the room. As for the build quality, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is constructed of four layers of carbon fiber together with a magnesium alloy roll cage. Now that's one of the reasons for the high price tag. It carries the military standard 810G badge, so it is pretty durable. It's a 14-inch laptop with room for full-size USB and HDMI ports, but only weighs as much as a super slim 13-inch ultrabook, just 1.13 kgs. You will almost certainly be surprised with how thin and light it feels in the hand. Not that it's unduly fat either. At 16 mm, it's rather svelte. Now it's not technically a convertible, but the display reclines to a flat angle. The carbon stiff hinge also resists any movement while flopping about. The whole body is covered in the typical matte black paint job which is smooth to touch and gives the laptop a unique yet premium feel. It is uh, still a fingerprint and a scuff magnet though so you need to watch out for that. My laptop has the quad core Intel Core i7 8th generation 8550U CPU, 16GB of DDR3 RAM. which is uh, soldered on preventing upgrades and a 512 GB PCIe SSD in terms of IO the left hand side of the laptop has USB C and Gen 2 ethernet port that can be used with one of Lenovo's uh, physical docks the right hand side of the chassis includes the second USB A connector a Kensington lock large fan vents and the 3.5 mm headphone slash mic jack There's also the combination SD card and a SIM card holder but I have never used it in my time with this laptop. Now open the carbon cover and you're met with the ThinkPad X1 Carbon's display. Not typically one of Lenovo's traditional strengths. There are four options available, all 14-inch panels. The model I have is a high-res 2516 to 1440 300 nit display with a matte finish. It is very sharp and the brightness is more than enough for daily work with everything looking tack sharp. To put it plainly, the color fidelity is amazing and since this is an IPS panel, the viewing angles are best in class. The viewing experience is also enhanced with thin bezels on either side, which is uh, not exactly a new feature anymore in 2022. For security, the X1 Carbon has a fingerprint reader to the right of the trackpad, which is fast and quite reliable. Lenovo also offers an upgrade to an infrared depth camera. that should allow windows hello to be used via the front facing camera though my laptop doesn't have that option the webcam is pretty standard fare with a 720p resolution but there is a feature called think shutter a sliding physical shutter on the webcam that you can close this is necessary nowadays to, uh, to prevent webcam hacking any audio propelled upward by the x1 carbon speakers sounds okay and nothing really great and it is also somewhat on the soft side there's more than enough volume to fill a normal conference room though it's worth noting that the x1 carbon includes the dolby atmos audio enhancement algorithm which uh, improves the audio both over the speakers and over the headphones your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced Legendary. 
the one thing that hasn't changed over the years on X1 carbon laptops is the keyboard. Lenovo's keyboards have earned an elite reputation and the X1 carbon continues that tradition. The island style keyboard layout is easy to work on and offers a luxurious 1.8 mm of key travel which is even better than some desktop keyboards. The typing experience is sublime and a bit addictive as it is hard to go back to any other laptop keyboard after this. The keys don't make a particularly clacking sound and are concave which helps in typing silently and precisely. In short, you can't go wrong with the ThinkPad keyboard and it is the gold standard for Windows laptop keyboards. The same is true for the soft touch mattish touchpad. It's not large or wide like some other thin and light laptops. Uh, rather, it's just big enough to have a comfortable experience. Don't be fooled though by its looks as it is a glass trackpad. It is quite precise and has excellent finger tracking. It uses Windows uh, precision drivers and supports all Windows 11 gestures. There are also separate physical mouse buttons rather than relying on buttons built into the trackpad. The trackpad still features integrated buttons of course but if you are a bit more old school you can use the two physical ones located just above the trackpad. As a throwback, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is one of the few laptops that still features Lenovo's signature red pointing stick officially known as the track point. It's low profile and only slightly encroaches on the G, H and B keys. So it's easy to ignore if you would prefer to stick to the trackpad. It's also a pleasingly old school feature that will uh, doubtless appeal to some of the ThinkPad's more die-hard traditional fans who have uh, grown accustomed to using it. The performance has been excellent across the board. I have been using this laptop mainly for work and not for any kind of gaming. For gaming, you have far capable laptops like the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro, which I have also reviewed. Uh, there's a link to that review in the description. For office work, light photo editing, web browsing, content consumption, etc. This laptop is more than capable and doesn't struggle or slow down at all. Thanks to the 8th Gen Core i7 CPU and the generous 16 GB DDR3 RAM. The fans do ramp up a little bit if you try to do some demanding stuff, but uh, nothing too alarming. Now, battery life also has been quite good with the 8th Gen i7 CPU under the hood, as well as a 2K panel. Now, in spite of both of these things, I get uh, somewhere around 6 to 7 hours of uh, usage, which is quite respectable. Of course, if you want more battery backup, there are other options like uh, the Dell XPS 13 or the LG Gram. So to summarize, the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon has been an absolute joy to use since the last three years. It's not cheap at approximately 1,50,000 when I bought it in 2019. But these points are easily forgotten since it excels in so many areas like portability, durability, battery life, display and premiumness. The current generation of ThinkPads are even more expensive. But if you are willing to spend the money for a premium business class laptop which is stylish and long lasting, you get what you pay for with the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon Series Ultrabook. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have then do click on the like button. Share your thoughts in the comment section on what is your dream business laptop. Also share and subscribe to my channel which motivates me to make more videos for you. This is Sunny from Sunny Days and I will see you again in my next video. Peace.